I'm just aiming. I am not the aiming. All right, Pikachu's doing his little crawl. He's he's kind of digging it. Shulk is just going in. Yeah, he's taking no time. These brothers are battling it out. So, Fusion and Zeus are the two brothers of the scene. They are like they're a static doubles team. They they have separate fathers and separate mothers, yet they're still brothers. It's it's just a <laughs> it's an amazing thing in this world. All right, we got Pikachu doing Pikachu things. The the tiniest hit sends you the farthest distance. That was a good recover or a good like edge guard. I did not expect that. All right, this is a little easier to follow. See, Pikachu trying to get get in, trying to approach, covering his landing with that lightning lightning bolt, thunderbolt, lightning Thund shock, lightning bolt, thunderbolt. No, what is it? It's thunderbolt. What thunderbolt? Is that what it's called? See, now that I'm older, it sounds stupid. Like, Pikachu is Thunderbolt. Yeah, it is Thunderbolt. Oh, yeah, it is thunderbolt. oh that was, it sounds dumb now. <laughs> Alright, Pikachu taking the leech. So I'll switch into the jump monado to get over that up forward smash. Alright, Shulk switching to seal mode, trying to optimize the his lifespan, trying to get the most out of it. Oh, switching to Smash, going for the kill, and it's successful. Now switching to the Buster, trying to get that damage. That was 16, per 27 percent already. Oh, he missed his shield. Now he's gonna try to cancel it. He canceled it. So I don't know if you know, but there's a technique where um, you can cancel the like ending like frames of the Monado. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. I don't know. It just helps the Monado like come out faster, and you land perfect. The moment you land, you can actually like do an input, so you can like it's harder to like read. So with the shield, the shield Monado out, he it basically couldn't. He had to go to jump trying to avoid rather than approach, and like then the end because uh, his weight. Is less the knockback sound of flying brother, so he died. Oh, okay. Now he's switching to speed, trying to keep up with this rat. I thought he could take him out. Um, he's, he's a filthy rat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so. Zay's doing a really good job of trying to get in there, trying to get. Getting past that sword, he's doing amazing. Uh, I know as like uh, Mario, it feels impossible to get past that sword sometimes. You just have to be very patient. I feel like with a lot of uh, sword characters, it's hard to get past. Oh, and the kill. That was actually pretty good. He, like, you just jumped to get just over him. and then He feels the power. <laughs> I feel the power. Yeah, he's got all that electricity in him now. After that fight with Pikachu, you better be feeling something. <laughs> Oh, you better be really feeling it now. <laughs> I'm really feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, game two on Town and City. We got the creepy townspeople. We got the the wishful walrus and the overexcited cat. I probably know who it is. Oh, what's his face? He's on the train. I don't like Animal Crossing, guys. I, I'm not into the, like, build your own city type of games. I'm into, like, here's a city, and let me destroy it. <laughs> here's this nice, peaceful society. Let me, let me end that. I have no friends, so therefore I will just make the animals my friends. Alright, Zay's looking more to, or uh, Fusion trying to look to get away and, like, Reset his ground and get his space back. Try to make Fusion or Pikachu play his game rather than him get knocked around. Yeah, is definitely reading Fusion pretty well. Yeah, he's adapted perfectly to his play. But that means Fusion just has to change his play that much more. But Pikachu's definitely getting in there. Oh, that was very close to a suicide. He got that balloon screwed him over actually. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about this map is that the floating balloons. I think they should count as a stage header. It, it just ruins some of your like stuff. Because like, well, it never happened in the case of Ness, but if like Ness hits a balloon, they're usually above the stage and like it screws them over. Oh, that was really good. 
then like Ness's distance will be shortened. So like if there's a balloon under stage and Ness accidentally hit it, he'd be dead. You know? Yeah, there's little little guys delivering stuff. The, the mailman. See, that was good on Zace's part. He used the thunderbolt to cover his uh, landing, and then, uh, wow. Then he uh, quick attacked up to get past. Fusion messing up his aerial just a little bit, but he's not gonna get, let that get to him. He like shook his head, he reset, and he's ready to go do some killer shulk things. Here he goes, up air, missing it. Oh, I think the jump monado made it give him a little too much lift. Oh my god, he got a jab reset off of that. Oh, Fusion attacking it perfectly. So you can actually use that. I'm pretty sure his forward tilt can actually have the potential to trip. So Pikachu can possibly get just a straight jab reset off of his first tilt. Wow. I, I think so. I, I have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's there. The smash didn't kill. Oh, that's... Oh. No. That, oh, my God. Covering that... that. Definitely. All right, all right, all right. You lived a little. once is okay. Twice you're like, what the hell? Third time you're you're gone. You, you can't. Yeah, it's like I'll di out. Just it was three times. I, I beat it. <laughs> I... The edge of that up smash just barely hit him. So Shulk Snare is actually a really good cool to like get past like to cover Pikachu's like quick attack because it has such a large radius so that like it's really hard for Pikachu to get past that. Oh he's going out. He's going in. Oh, oh he's going for it. Oh he air dodges it. That was like this is getting pretty close. Oh oh with the nair. Oh he just oh. barely gets it. Pikachu! Oh, no no! It's suicide Oh, the no. rat dies. We got a good rhythm going. Yeah, it's zap zap. <laughs> oh, GG. I think this is best of five. I thought it was best of three, but it's best of five. Oh, okay. So, so we get to see more fusion days. Alright, I just want, yeah. <laughs> I just want Pikachu. <laughs> Onward, Pikachu. Yeah! <laughs> that was not a very, like, aggressive approach. So when I went raw, it looked like the saddest raw ever. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll, I'll go, I guess. <laughs> so this, this is campy. This, it's it's really good because he's actually he's like he loses one game and it's over. So he wants to play this as defensively as possible, try and tack on as much damage while staying out of that sword range. Yeah, definitely gotta play safe. Yeah, fusion circle of movements, or the way to describe it is like the sphere of hitboxes around him. So like, imagine any at any in the, in the neutral. Imagine at any point, your enemy has a sphere of moves around them that is their radius of attack, and that's what you want to stay out of in the neutral and try to like you want to try to avoid that as much as possible and understand in that sphere of attacks what is safe for them to do, and understand that hey they in this while doing this they like messed up and like didn't auto cancel it so you have an extra like few frames to punish it and he, that's what like Zace is doing right now he's trying to stay out of that sphere get in with a few like lightning attacks because um i don't know if you know this but in the game like uh like lightning attacks do a slightly bit more hit stun so that slight like hit stun if he lands a lightning bolt will give pikachu enough of a window to actually get in and do something Right, without having without having to like go on a full commitment like that there, I'm pretty that might have shield bug, but he also just might have let go of shield. Right. But like those like little lightning things, they allow Pikachu to chain just a little better. Yeah. So then he can attack without worry of like without worry of getting hit. Yeah. So like it, you saw that there where he um, he canceled his lightning attack and the slight extra stun allowed him to grab. Because, like, if Mario, or, like, I reference a lot of things to Mario because I play him. So if Mario cancels his down air, he still has a little lag, so he can't punish it. But Pikachu has just that, like, right amount, see, that he can get that grab. Right, which is... Which is, like, good. great. He's trying to stay out of this. He does not want to get hit by Shulk while the Smash Mountain. 
Oh, and here it is, the forward tilt. Busta! No, I think he's just going to the base one. His speed is optimal for Shulk in the beginning, because it's easier for him to chain his attacks. So he can, like, get, he can get you, like, really far out there. And that's going to be the game. So, yeah, when, um, when, uh, Fusion actually switches the shield, it allows for him to just do easier combo strings and grab a little quicker. Mm -hmm. And when he's able to do that, he can get you off stage. And then midway through his speed attacks, he switches the jump. So he can get you farther off stage. Because it gives you that extra area. So he wants to hit you again with the forward air while you're off stage. So that gets you super far. Right. Three, two, Change one, enough to go to the go. <coughs> I think it's... I don't know. I'm pretty sure Zace chose the stage, right? Maybe he just doesn't want fusion ledge camping, which... I don't think fusion does a lot. So maybe he opted for final destination. Maybe because of the size of the stage? Probably. I mean, he wants more room to avoid him. Stay out of his, his space. So another like thing Zayce does is he'll send out a lightning bolt at a certain height and follow it. So Fusion blocked that at that point. But he'll have it so that he's following it at a, the perfect speed so that he's in line with the lightning bolt. So they have to shield it or take the hit. And either way, he'll get the grab. Here, uh, there'll be an instance probably when they reset neutral that you'll see him actually do this. It's a, it's super interesting to me because I was like I would have never have thought of that. Yeah. At playing Pikachu, I I would have never never. That must have wow. Serious practice. Oh yeah, so definitely. Because you have to. It has to, it's joystick control. The Pikachu, I think, I don't know because I don't play Pikachu. But it, if he is slightly faster than the Lightning Bolt, because in order to keep up with it anyways, you'd have to be at least as fast as it. So either Pikachu is just as fast as it or a little faster, which means he has to control the amount of keep, he inputs the joystick to keep up with it at a perfect speed. Which to me, that's that's some, that's insane insane precision to do mid match, like you know. Like, I can barely roar back at it perfectly every time, but. Oh my god. <laughs> Pika P. That was insane. What happened? Shulk, Shulk coming in, Pikachu grabbed off the ledge and he uh, up smash. Oh. Pikachu two. Buster. Before. Buster does so much damage. Thunder. That's it. I think that was. Oh, he taunts! So cute! So they used to actually practice together a lot for, do for doubles and stuff. Or they used to at the very least. I don't know about now. Okay, so, so they're familiar with each other's uh, play styles. Play styles, yeah. yeah. This fusion is more in line at this moment, I guess. Oh, and he gets it! See, that's what I meant. The cancel of the Monado into, a, like, an attack. So he canceled it perfectly into that smash attack to get the, to, like, be able to do that. That back air. Oh, it's not gonna kill. Zay's being very resilient. Anyone's game though. Yeah, definitely. Pikachu is the gimping master of Smash. Oh, when he gets it. Oh, that was actually a really intense game. I don't get the rhythm one. Like, 